Hello, and welcome to my pre-algebra review series. This video covers Chapter 5, Section 5, titled Using Customary Units of Measure. By the end of this section, you will have reviewed the procedures for identifying customary units of measure. This will include choosing a unit of measure. Additionally, you will review the converting customary units and using dimensional analysis. Please leave a like if you find this video to be helpful. Give your classmates a heads up too. It will more than likely help them, and certainly it will help this channel to be seen by more students. If you'd like me to cover any of these topics in greater detail, please leave a comment in the comment section below. I read them and do my best to answer each as time permits. Please subscribe to my channel and ring the bell icon to be notified every time I release a new video. Thank you. Okay, definition. Uh, dimensional analysis. You can use conversion factors to change from one unit of measure to another in a process called dimensional analysis. You use equivalent units to write a conversion factor. For example, 3 feet divided by 1 yard, or 3 feet per yard, is equal to 1. And why is it equal to 1? Because 3 feet equals 1 yard, so you can replace 1 yard with 3 feet. So 3 feet over 3 feet is 1. So 3 feet over 1 yard is also equal to 1, which means that you can multiply any equation that you're trying to solve by 1 and not change the, the outcome or the answer. But, I mean, you can't change the conversion, as you're going to, so to speak. So, so, you can use 3 feet per yard to convert from yards to feet. So, what is 2 yards measured in feet? As here's the example, here's the little problem right here. Where's my mouse? There's the mouse. Two, 2 yards equals how many feet? Well, we're going to start off with 2 yards. Here's 2 yards. And we're going to multiply by 3 feet per 1 yard. 3 feet per 1 yard. And when we do so, you're going to see that the yards here are going to cancel. So we're going to end up, and we're going to multiply the 2 times the, the 2 times the 3. They're going to be multiplied together right here. Okay. And then we're going to have yards times feet per yard. So this ends up being yards over yards, which is, they cancel out. So when you go back through it, you see this is 6, 2 times 3 is equal to 6. The yards cancel, right here, yards cancel yards, and you end up with feet, so 6 feet. So the question, what is 2 yards measured in feet? 6 feet. Okay? Good. Objective 1, identifying appropriate units of measure. Most people in the United States use customary system of measurements. The customary units of measure here in the United States. So, so we have length, capacity, length right here, length, capacity, and weight. Those are customary things that we'll weigh. We'll normally use length and, and volume, so to speak, and weight. So what are some of the length units that we, we deal with. We deal with inches, we deal with feet, we'll deal with yards, we deal with miles. These are all very customary here in the United States. When it comes to holding something, a quantity, we have fluid ounces, F-L-O-Z, fluid ounces. We have cups, pints, quarts, and gallons. These are all very customary here in the United States. And also in weight, we have ounces, pounds, and tons. Okay, so the, now so for equivalent units of measure, we're going to be trying to, so we can convert from one to the next. We have equivalents. One foot is equal to 12 inches. We all know that. One yard, we just found out earlier, three feet. One mile is equal to 5,280 feet or 1,760 yards. Either one of those conversion vectors would work. Okay, in in liquid or capacity, one cup is equal to eight fluid ounces. One pint is two cups. One quart is two pints. One gallon is four quarts. So these are our conversions that we typically use. And for weight, one pound is equal to 16 ounces. And one ton is equal to 2,000 pounds. Okay. To measure an object, you should choose the appropriate unit of measure. 
Okay, so in this case, example one, we're going to just choose a unit of measure to measure whatever they're asking for here. It says choose an appropriate unit of measure. It should have a U in there. I'm going to, I can write that U in there. How's that? I'll put a little U. Unit. Right here it goes. The U goes right down there. Unit. <laughs> choose an appropriate unit of measure. Explain your choice. The weight of a truck. How would you measure the weight of a truck? Well, we could, we could do it in two ways. I would think this is, you could say a truck can be weighed in pounds, in LB, pounds. You could say it's a 2,500 pound truck or 3,750 pounds is the weight of the truck. Or you could measure it in tons, tons, T-O-N-S, tons. Uh, it's one and a half tons, two and a half tons. Okay, so either of those would work. So it kind of depends on how accurate you want to be. If you want to know the exact weight, oh, it's 4,368 and a half pounds, then you do pounds. You wouldn't do use tons. But if you want a more of a universal measurement, something simple, not that accurate, probably you go with tons. Okay, and that's the ex explanation of our choice. Length of a hallway rug. This is a little more specific. How would you measure a length of a hallway rug? Would you measure in inches? Would you measure it in yards? Yeah, you could. You could also measure it in feet. So it could be yards or it could be in feet. Depends, again, how accurate you want it to be. So I would say, oh, it's a five yards. Right away, you'd say, oh, five times is 15 feet. But if it was 16 feet, you wouldn't say, you'd probably not say 5.333 yards or something. You'd probably rather say 16 feet. So there's our answers there. Okay, example one, check your understanding. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to pick a, the unit, the, probably the most appropriate or the customary unit to measure these items in. Um, as you know, I'm probably not going to have to say it forever here, but it's a, this is check your understanding. So pause the video, try them out on your own, and then when you come back, we'll do them together. Okay, uh, you pause the video if you chose to. Now we're back. So A, the length of a swimming pool. Well, you could measure, I think you could, depends on what kind of pool you're measuring. If you're measuring a high school swimming pool or a college swimming pool, possibly, you would probably want to measure it in yards, YD, right, yards. And if it's your backyard swimming pool, maybe we more appropriate to measure it in feet. So I think we could measure it in either feet or yards. How about the weight of a baby? Would you measure the weight of a baby in ounces or would you weigh it in pounds? I, I would think you're certainly not going to weigh it and do it in tons. <laughs> so I want to say that you would measure a baby in pounds and ounces. They do six pounds, five ounces, that type of thing. So we're going to say just LB for pounds, okay? Um, it could be pounds and OZ ounces, but we'll go with pounds. Both. Are, that's probably most correct, pounds, pounds and ounces. How about the length of a pencil? We do the length of a pencil in centimeters, not centimeters, in um, feet, uh, yards. Now we do it in inches, I'm sure. It's a seven inch pencil. The capacity of an eyedropper. Are we gonna measure it in gallons, cups, pints, quarts? Now we'll probably measure it in fluid ounces, okay? That's probably how that would work. Okay, objective two, converting customary units. You can use conversion factors to change from one unit of measure to another in a process called dimensional analysis. We spoke of that earlier in the definitions. You use equivalent units to write for a conversion factor. For example, you can use 12 inches per one foot, 12 inches over one foot to convert from feet to inches. Okay, so if you wanted to convert from inches to feet, you would write it as one foot over 12 inches. The one that you're converting to, the units you're converting to are the units that are on top. And when you're converting from are the units on the bottom. If you're converting from feet to inches, the feet are on the bottom, the inches are on the top. If you reverse that one foot over 12 inches, then you'd be converting from inches to feet. We'll see probably some more of that as we go forward here. 
Okay? Example two, using dimensional analysis. Use dimensional analysis to convert from 10 quarts to gallons. So let's try it. Let's see how this works. So we're going to start off. We're going to go down here and we're going to start off by writing 10 quarts. 10 quarts. Q T S. 10 quarts. And we want to we're going to multiply by something in order to convert to gallons. Well, you, you just heard in the last slide, the thing you want to convert to is on top, right? So it's going to be some type of gallons. And it's we're coming from quarts, so it's going to be quarts on the bottom. So the conversion factor will be one gallon, one G A L, one gallon per four quarts. Q T S. One gallon per four quarts. So ten quarts to gallons is going to be equal to the the four goes into tw into ten. Let's put it that way. It's going to be two and a half times, right? So it's 2.5, 2.5 times. Okay, and then um, the quarts cancel. So this quarts cancels this quart. And what you're left with is the units gallons. So it's going to be 2.5 gallons. Okay, so we'll try some more as we go on here. Okay, example two, checking your understanding. Complete each equation. Um, as before, uncheck your understanding. You should pause the video, try these on your own, see what you come up with, come on back. And we'll move. We'll go from there. We'll try. We'll do them together. Okay. Now you're back. The first one we're going to start with is 14 ounces to pounds. So what, how is that? What's that going to come up to? We're going to write down here. We're going to come. We're going to write 14 oz, 14 ounces, and we're going to convert it to pounds. And so what is the conversion factor? It's one pound per 16 ounces. So one pound per 16 ounces, okay? Well, we know that the ounces cancel. We talked about that. The, the one is just one here. We have, uh, oh, excuse me, 16 rather, and one up on the top. So what we have is 14 times one. So this equals 14 times one divided by 16. Okay, and that equals, we're going to divide 2 out of this. We're going to end up with 7 eighths because we're going to divide the top and the bottom by 2. Divide by 2, divide by 2, we get 7. Divide by 2, we get 8. So the answer is 7 eighths, what? 7 eighths pound. Okay, not too bad. Let's try this one. 14 inches, 14 inches. Two, so you're multiplying by how many to feet? So we're going to go to feet. So how many inches are in a foot? Twelve. So it's one foot, one foot per twelve inches. Okay, and then so in doing this, the inches will cancel. Inches divide by inches, and you're left with feet in the numerator. Fourteen. Fourteen over 12, and the answer is feet. Okay, now we're going to reduce this. We can divide the 14 by 2 and get a 7. So 14 divided by 2 is a 7. Oops, 7. And 12 divided by 2 is 6. So we're going to have 7 sixths feet. Feet. Okay, and then when we convert that to a um, mixed number, it's going to be one. Six goes into seven one time with one remainder. So it's going to be one and one-sixth feet. F-T. One and one-sixth feet. Let's try the next one. Fourteen pints to quarts. So we're going to start here with the 14. We're going to say 14 pints times 
we're going to be quarts on the top, pints on the bottom. So if we're putting, it'll be one quart on the top, one quart on top, and how many pints are in a quart? Two pints on the bottom here. So the pints cancel each other because pints divide pints. You're left with quarts. 14 times one is equal to 14. And I can put the, um, the quarts right here quarts divided by um, and we have two right two and it's not pints it's just divided by two because the pints have been canceled we're already in quarts and so the answer here is seven because 14 divides by by two is seven seven quarts okay that's that complete Example three, a real world problem. A store, or at store A, a four and a quarter pound bag of cashew nuts costs $15.99. Store B charges the same, same price for a 76 ounce bag of cashews. Which store gives more for your money? So we're going to have to do some conversions here. We already know that we have 76 ounces and we have four and a quarter pounds. So it's probably going to be easier if just to convert the four and a quarter pounds to ounces. Maybe we'll just do that. We'll get rid of that and we'll leave the 76 by itself. So here, in fact, this we see. It says start by converting the weight of the cashews to, in pounds to improper fraction. We're going to do that by four and a quarter equals 17 fourths. 4 times 4 is 16, plus 1 is 17. These are in pounds. So now we're going to, then it says, convert the pounds to ounces to make the comparison for ounces to ounces. So what are we going to do? We're going to say 17 over 4 pounds times 16, could be 16 OZ, but it's good right here, 16 ounces per pound. So what happens then, as we spoke before, the Pounds cancel, and you're left with, the pounds will cancel, and you're left with ounces, okay? So, and then it's 17, and the four can't, the fours cancel. This one, four goes into four one time, four goes into 16 four times. So it's 17 times four, here it is, 17 times four ounces. Because this is one on the bottom now, we only have ones, so there's nothing left on the bottom. 17 over 1. So 17 times 4 is 40. 4 times 10 is 40. 4 times 7 is 28. So it's 68. So that equals... Well, they don't, we, they, oh yeah, here it is. We did it right here. 17 times 4 ounces is 68 ounces. So now what we want to find out then is which is more. So we find out that 76 ounces is greater than 68 ounces. And store B has the 76 ounces. So store B right here, store B, 76 ounces. So store B gives you more for your money. Okay, and here we are at the last slide. Uh, example four, check your understanding, complete each equation. And as we've been doing all along, um, go ahead, if you feel like it, stop the video, work these yourselves. I would think it would be good if you did. And when you come back, we'll do them together. So go ahead, stop the video. Okay, now that you've completed your own work, here we're going to see how, how you did. I'm sure you did just fine. So we're going to do three and a half pounds right here, three and one half pounds to ounces. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to convert the three and a half, the, this mixed number, three and a half, to an improper fraction. In order to do that, so we're going to say three and one half pounds is equal to how many ounces, right? Ounces. But the three and a half is two times three is six plus one is seven halves pounds. Now we're going to convert to ounces. So we're going to multiply by what? We want ounces. So it's something that's going to be something ounces over, and we're leaving pounds, so it's going to be ounces over pounds. So I'm going to type right there, I'm going to write ounces, OZ, 
over pounds LB. And how many ounces per pound is it? We know it's 16 ounces per pound. Those are well worth memorizing. All those typical ones that we talked about earlier, there was like a dozen or so. Memorize them. Then you'll always have it for fast use when you're ready for it. So now we're going to divide the, the pounds are going to cancel out. And we're going to be left with ounces, and that's what we want. The 2 here is going to be 2 divided by 2 is a 1. 16 divided by 2, two is an 8. So we have a 7 times 8 is equal to 56 over 1. So just 56. 56 ounces. Okay. Now, B, 3 and a half yards to feet. So what is three and a half yards? Three and one half yards equals how many feet? So three and a half, we're going to get, first get rid of the mixed number, make it an improper fraction. Two times three is six and one is seven halves yards times what? We want to end up in feet. So whatever it's going to be, it's going to be some feet on the top and we, we're starting in yards, and we want to get rid of the yards, so we're going to be over yards. The yards, the thing you're converting from is on the bottom. What you're converting to is on the top. How many feet is it per one yard? It's three feet per one yard. So there's nothing much to do here other than just cancel. So the yards cancel. The two doesn't divide into anything, so it's seven times three is 21. Oops, 7 times 3 is equal to 21, and over 2, and it's going to be feet. And since it's 21 halves, we're going to convert that to 2 goes into 21 10 times with one remainder, so it's 10 and 1 half feet. Okay? So now, three and a half pints to cups. Three and a half. This three and a half is coming up quite often, isn't it? Equals how many cups? So three, two times three is six, plus one is seven. We're getting this quite often. Halves, pints, equal a times. And we're converting from pints. So we're going to have pints on the bottom. And we're converting two cups, cups on the bottom, I mean on top. So how many cups are there in a pint? Well, if you remember from that slide, it's there are two cups per one pint. Okay, per one pint. And these, this two cancels this two, and we end up with seven. Equals seven cups. The pint's canceled. Seven cups. That's, that's our answer at this point. Seven cups. Okay, we're all done. Did a good job, I'm sure.